Hello, Monday. I just start a quick video. You know, it's about my power supply. You know, my power supply. That's a small one. And what I want to do today <coughs> is I want to modify these things. I want to tidy, tidy my desk, tidy my desk. Uh, I want to get this oscilloscope out because it's it's doing nothing here. I have to take the power supply. I want to take it out. I don't want to use it anymore because 15 amps it's it's too much. I don't really need 15 amps. Let me see if I can. Yeah. And what will be here? I will have the hot air machine. The multimeter will will still be the. I will leave the multimeter. But the power supply and the oscilloscope, I will take them out. Yeah. And my power supply, I, I will use only this power supply. Now this is, it's just a cheap one, basically it's cheap one. Linear power supply, that's very important to be linear, yeah? And it's from 0 up to 30, 31, yeah, 32 volts. And zero from 0 to 5 amps, yeah? 5 amps and we have voltage. I think, oh, look on this post, look, full of dust. I have this power supply, I think, from uh, three years, three or four years. <coughs> Let me show you what I mean when I said the linear power supply. Let me see if I can find the screwdriver. Let's have a look inside, you know, just let's have a look on a linear power supply, you know. What can be there? What can go wrong? <laughs> Let me take out the screws. Let's see what's mean a linear power supply. Okay, and you know what? Many times I'm using the power supply just the same way like a multimeter. With a multimeter, you can't see the electrical resistance. Yeah, with a power supply, yes, you can. If you check my last video with that HP, like the the awkward job, I think like three videos ago. Actually, with a multimeter. I, I start from the charging port after the first MOSFET and I, only after the second MOSFET I saw the, the short there. But with the power supply, if you remember when I connect the power supply straight, I, I saw like it's, it's taking too, too many amps and uh, is something wrong there. So you see sometimes, not sometimes, I, f I think I'm using this power supply a lot, just in the same way like the multimeter. So look here, this is a heatsink. <laughs> so check here. We have burned trucks, burned like wires. A modified the rectifier bridge, just think. So the original rectifier bridge was like there on the board on the other side. This was the second one which is burned and I stuck it there and I can't take take the rectifier bridge out. And this is the actual the the the, the rectifier bridge from now, yeah? That transistor, I don't think you can see. Well, everything is melt. Even these things are melt there. The fan, yeah, the fan, I modified the fan. So initially, I cut down the fan because it was too noisy. It was not like, depends on the temperature. No, it was spinning all the time because it's a cheap power supply. And I cut the fan down, fan down and... I, I stuck the I, I moved the, the wires on the five volts to spinning like less and less noise. So you see all those things, yeah. You see all those things are mistakes. 
And this is the linear power supply. They are very, you know, they will forgive you when you will do mistakes. And I've done a lot of mistakes with this one. And it's easy. You have a burn truck, you have a burn uh, rectifier bridge, you can replace it. And that's all, you know, it's nothing complicated. No MOSFETs. Even that transistor is a normal transistor. It's not a MOSFET. You see? Basic. Nothing special. You have the transformer here. You have the display thing. You have the... The power supply. Here the... You see? It's, it's, look look at the, on these wires. I can't believe. I think this happened after I replaced the power supply. After I replaced the rectifier bridge. Okay, so actually the rectifier bridge, this one, survived, but the wires just got burned. Look at the wires. <laughs> you see, that's what I, why I love working with linear power supplies. Also, it's nothing switching here. Nothing switching here, no noise on the, on the output. Yeah, that's all about my power supply. So, I'll fit the camera on the back of this power supply, and from now on, we will use this one. Because even the subscribers, if they want to start, or they want to learn, or probably they will buy the cheapest one. This is a cheap one. 60, 70 on eBay. But, check, because all are looking the same. But this one is linear, yeah? So if you buy a power supply, buy a linear one and 0 0.5 amps you don't even more you don't even need 5 amps i think i go like up to max like 4 amps whatever i will do it's, it's no point going up over 4 amps yeah so that's my power supply this is my power supply and it's still working you know so many times i forgot the wires together you know these wires and the things get hot and just, you know, I just saw like, oh, smoke. <laughs> yeah. So if you buy a power supply, buy a linear one. Because the power supply will forgive you when you do mistakes. You can do a lot of mistakes. Switching one. Yeah, even the switching one protected. But if you do like. I don't know, I'm doing crazy things, like using the wires, like you connect on the battery, like some power bulb battery, and you use, uh, you don't use the, 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 the black to the ground, actually you use the black to the plus, and the voltage will come inside of the power supply, you know, a switching power supply will not, will not survive against these things, but this one, this, this is fine, you know. These things is like, you will get hot, you do mistakes, it will get hot, the transformer will get hot, the rectifier bridge, the transistor, well, you can fix it, even if something goes wrong, you can fix it, you can see here, like, blow up trucks, <laughs> okay, so I'll start hiding my things, I'll modify the, the setup here, and hopefully we can do a better video in the future, yeah? That's all. It's just Monday, you know? I will start easy. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe if you like the video. And see you on the next jobs, yeah? Let's... Well, let me finish first, yeah? Bye.